Oni of Ife was in shock, as in he couldn't believe it, hearing what uh, is happening in that oil company. According to the information, they said it was uh, Princess Adiola who uh, drew his attention to that information that uh, Toby's uncle <laughs> have taken over the oil company. We do know that they said few days after Toby gave birth to twins, they said one of his uncle came from Akira and was demanding that uh, the twins would be included in the oil company business. <laughs> and for them to achieve that, that their family members would be employed. <laughs> and they said that did not go well with that particular uncle with the king because the king blasted him, telling him that uh, Luku. I am not a broke man. I have a whole lot to take, to take care of my children, no matter how, no matter their number. So shortly after that one, they said another uncle also came in respect of the same thing. And I don't know how it, it ended with the king this time. So now, we do know that uh, for some days now, what we have been hearing is that when Naomi have been agitating that she is leaving the Lakey mansion. And uh, she's uh, insisting that the king must spell out uh, the condition of their relationship as in and all of that so with that it seems as if she has not been interested in that oil company stuff and they said at this point because that oil company is just starting there are structures they are building structures doing some selections employing people doing some managerial uh, selection and all of that so uh, as it is right now they are employing people you know but uh, some managers, you know, uh, they said in that oil company they have different uh, sections, and on those sections they have different managers. And Kwenomi is the CEO, yes. Um, Princess Adiola is also part of that oil company. And right now they said Princess Adiola is preparing for her forthcoming uh, traditional marriage, so she's not. Uh, always in that company she is there today the next day she might be in uh, in UK in London or in Canada they said her husband stays in Canada so it has made her to be traveling from one place to all the, the other you know she's not steady in that company we know me too has other things that she is doing anyway but she is the person that is closer to the company more than a princess at this time now they said on the in the process of uh, I want to go, I want to uh, remarry you. Uh, as an I don't know if this news is true. They said from what we are hearing allegedly that uh, it's like there is a man in the life of Queen Naomi right now who really wants the king to release Queen Naomi so that uh, she will remarry. That is what we are hearing. I don't know if that is the distraction or the distraction is because. When Naomi is fed up with what is going on between him, between her and uh, the king. So they said, uh, then, how the, uh, Toby's uncle was able to secure that post in the companies? Because they said, most times, uh, since they started employing people, anyone that comes to that company with a palace seal, as in that seal is like a, a stamp from the palace, anyone that comes with a letter from that palace seal, they don't... Uh, interrogate those people they will just give them employment immediately knowing that the the company belongs to the king and the members of the palace you know so they said how toby's uncle was able to secure that position for himself is that he came with a letter bearing uh, that uh, palace seal this is the same thing that we heard that uh, olori mariam did some time ago that made the king to sack some people, some of his staff, that they are not careful enough. How did his seal leave the place? That was when Mariam uh, sent a letter to, uh, where exactly is it? I've forgotten, one foreign com uh, country like that, that uh, uh, Ashley is supposed to go and represent the king. Mariam sent her own seal, her own letter with the, uh, uh, the king's seal. If not, that they called the king to find out and the reason they call the king might be because they have been won as the king have sent one saying that it is a uh, ashley that will represent her so that will represent him that was why they called him when they received the second one so they said it was this same 
acts that uh, these people did that made uh, Toby's uncle to secure that position. Then, when uh, maybe one of them told uh, Diola, they said Diola was very, very mad at Queen Naomi. The reason is because Queen Naomi know that these people, they don't mean anything, they don't mean well for them, especially this Toby and her family. You see, family that will start dragging property when the baby is not even up to one week, you know? So when uh, Diola hears about it, they say she was not ang she was not happy with a uh, with a uh, queen Naomi such that they said she rushed down to uh, I think they said she was in Canada and she booked the available flight and returned back to Nigeria and it was uh, then that he she came back and reported the whole thing to the father which is Oni of Ife and they say Oni was about taking her dinner uh, is it a lunch or whatever dinner when his lunch or dinner when this information got to him and he abandoned everything and rushed immediately to to Akure and they say when he got to Akure he hold Queen Naomi by the by his hand by her hand very tight and to and asked her that okay and told her that the reason she placed her uh, he placed her in that company as the CEO is because he doesn't want all of these women to come and devour his property. That he is doing that to secure a brighter future for his first son, Prince Tadenikau. That he wouldn't want a situation whereby these people will leverage on, on her weakness because at this point, I believe she is a, a, a distracted by her emotions. Or I don't know. I don't know. They said the king told her that if she if she still love him and uh, wants a better future for Prince Tadene Kauda, this is the right time for her to stand up and uh, fight for what belongs to her. And if you ask me, oh, this is just the truth. Queen Naomi needs to fight for what belongs to her because if she keep, if she, uh, uh, keep quiet, these people will take away what belongs to her. Okay, just look at that uh, lucky mansion that she's saying that she wants to go out. She wants to go out. The moment she step out of that place, Toby will go in there with her babies and she will never uh, 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 release it to any other person again. So the best thing for her to do is to stay back there. Although from what we heard, they said they are, she, they are manipulating her. But uh, the thing is that they have removed that uh, pot that they said they buried there. So they said when the king went there, the king uh, made her uh to understand what is at stake by letting these people come closer to that oil company the thing is that i know that uh, maybe the king will discharge uh toby's uncle with time when i get the information i'll come and tell you i want to remind you that these are all alleged information okay tell me what you think about it and share this video subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe if you're watching me from facebook follow the page for more and share my video bye for now love you guys